The king in the north! The king in the north! Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So Michigan just defeated Penn State 41-17. to And this game was, I guess you could say a game of two halves. But Michigan really dominated this game from the jump on the ground. And before I even get into it, shout out to that offensive line. Shout out to that offensive line. Them boys is manhandling. So, Michigan dominates the first quarter, up, gets up, gets in the red zone, get a field goal, get another, get in the red zone again, kick another field goal. Then they score a touchdown. They're up 13 nothing. All the momentum, everything. Penn State gets a third down. Clifford takes it like 60. They end up scoring at 7-13. J.J. throws a bonehead pass. There was nowhere to fit it in. There was defenders all over. Hits a player, bounces, and they pick it, take it to the house. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, like, this is reminding me of Michigan State last year. And I'm like, oh, boy, here we go. It's going to be one of those games. But, uh, and then we get another field goal. Second half. Penn State gets a field goal to go up 17-16, and Michigan just runs it down their throat the rest of the game. Penn State can't do anything on offense. Michigan's just running it. Plate Corum's getting long runs. Donovan Edwards getting long runs. J.J. scampering around, getting a few yards, and it was just ball game. Like, you can't, you can't play with us, basically. We're going to run it down your throat, and you can't stop us. So, that was really what what happened. Like this game could have easily been sixty to seven or something like that, sixty sixty to ten. But you make mistakes, you kick field goals, you give a te- you give a team hope. So if you kick three field goals or something, you're only up nine. You know what I'm saying? We get in the red zone dominating, but we're kicking field goals. They feel like they can stay in the game, and that's what happened. Second half, we were getting touchdowns, and that's what made us blow it on open. Now, I'm going to touch on the offense, and then I'm going to touch on the defense real quick. So, the offense, the O-line is just balling, just in general. But what I will say is it took them, to me, it took the offensive line longer to gel as a team. I mean, as a unit. And I think we're just now seeing how good they're – and I still don't think they're as good as they can be because – so you got Blake doing what Blake does, but we finally see Donovan Edwards break out because Donovan Edwards, he really hasn't done much this year in the in the run game. He's had some catches and things like that, but he hasn't had a, a dominant game like, yeah, I'm here. This ain't a – this ain't – this, I'm not Blake's backup. This is this is a two-headed monster. And that's what we thought it would be. At least I thought it would be. And that's what we want need it to be. If we're going to run the ball like we want to with Harbaugh ball. So I was glad to see him break out because Blake's been getting 30 carries a game. Just like he got 30, to, I think 28, 29, basically 30 today. So it was good to see him break out and, you know, take some of that uh, strain off of, Blake, and I like what Gus Johnson's calling the Don. I like that because he ran like the Don, be the Don. So I like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, the red zone. In the red zone, it, when we get in the red zone, this is the thing. You can't just try to run everybody over in the red zone. It's packed in. There's not enough. There's not that much space. So those safeties that were 15 yards back, they're six yards back. They're seven yards back. So it's harder to just run run it down their throat in the red zone. So when we start, when we get to the 20, I feel like we need to take a shot 
in the end zone because it didn't bite us in the butt today, but it can in later games. And if we play somebody and it's they have a better offense than Penn State. So when we get in the red zone, I would just like to see more eye candy. That's jet sweeps, things like that. Uh, jet sweeps, play action. You know what I'm saying? To Even if we are going to run it, it gives the, th the defense something else to worry about. Oh, that jet sweep's coming. Makes them do a false step and think about it. Now they're looking at that, you still run it. Well, vice versa. So I'd like to see us do more eye candy when we get in the red zone. Uh, let's see. Uh, and that's just settling for field goals. You settle for field goals, you keep them in the game. I touched on that. And this is one thing that did kind of, that's troubling to me this year. We just, re we refused to try to throw the ball deep. We just kind of refused to even try. And we do a lot of these uh, hook, hook routes, double hooks and curls and hitches, middle hitches, and all the, the safeties are just sitting there watching and everything's just bunched up and like you're not running anybody out of there. It's just all congested. So I'd like to see us, you know, spread the field and go downfield with more because we don't even try. It's getting to where we don't even try to go downfield. Like, I'm talking about a deep bomb. I'm talking, and I'm not, because some people say if it's 20 yards, I'm not even going to say that. I'm saying 30 yards. 30 yards or further. A, that's a deep pass to me. 20 yards, that ain't no deep pass. At least not to me. 20, 25, at least 30 yards, that's a deep, that's a deep pass to me. So, we don't even really try it now. You can say, well, we haven't needed to, but you're going to need to at some point. So I would like to see us get some type of consistency in it. It's just me, though. Maybe it's just me. Let's see. I guess that's that's about it. I guess on that third down, when we ran that play action, we ran a play action, and that's when J.J. threw the pick. But it's like third and two. Why you don't run the ball, bro? You've been running the ball down their throat all game. Why, why are you trying to get cute? And the route, the 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 play itself was just, it was, it was kind of, it, it's, it was something because you do the play action, you do the fake, and then you fake it to Blake and then he runs in the flat. But, or not the flat, but like two, at, the line of, at the line of scrimmage. But the thing is, he was the only receiver over there, really. So there were, there were, the defenders, they see him like there's one dude over here. It was like three, four dudes around him. So it was like, bro, this play call just didn't make sense to me. But that's me nitpicking, I guess. But you see, that was a big play. Third and two, getting ready to, you know, get a stranglehold on the lead turns into a pick six. Now you're down one. But that's just me nitpicking, but somebody got to talk about it. Let's see. Right, that's about it for the offense. Now on defense, what I tell y'all about that front seven. Like I, I thought this front seven was probably going to be better than last year with the depth, the different type of players. They just ain't giving up nothing in the run, really. Penn State had one had one big run, and that was on Clifford on the read. He ended up with 74 yards. But he got 60 of them on one play. Uh, Singleton had six carries for 19 yards. Allen had six carries for 16 yards. You get nothing. So, front seven, balling, balling. That's all I can say about them. Them boys that weren't giving up nothing. All he gave up is really one big play. So they balling. And honestly, th that's what I expect out of them. I expected them to have a dominant run defense with all these different dudes and different sizes. Like you should be ready for it. you should nobody should be able to consistently run on us. Let's see. Arm tackles. We still continue to arm tackle sometimes, and it 
it gets us when you go against somebody that's got fight. So like if you throw, we might throw, they might throw a little hitch to a to a tight end, and you're trying to arm tackle him down, and he's dragging dudes, and and nobody's coming up and laying that wood. So, like I say again, I'm nitpicking, but these are the type of things when you play a team that's really hungry and really ready to fight. Those are the type of things where y'all you trying to arm tackle and he comes out of the tackle and he just gonna take off. Like these things matter. You have to gain tackle. You have to hit. Like just because somebody's holding a dude up, somebody come lay him out, lay him out, lay him out. Finish the play. Uh, Jesse Minter, Jesse Minter's second half adjustments. Say good night. <laughs> you can say good night. It's over for you. You get nothing. You you can have that field goal in the first drive. You can have that. Take that. But you get nothing. Dude is in. This isn't to say that Penn State was just moving the ball in the first half. They really weren't. They had like they had one good drive. But second half, he's like, you get nothing. Cause when you go in the, when the offense, just like the defense makes adjustments. The offense goes in the second half, in the into halftime, like, okay, what do we need to do to adjust? It don't matter. I've already adjusted. You get nothing. You get nothing. I'm for the, I'm for, I'm, for the second half, I'm going to change the name of the no-name def defense to you get nothing. The you get nothing defense. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Only thing I don't like is... They done bench my boy. Uh, they done bench my boy. Uh, R.J. Moden. My guy ain't ain't barely getting no shine no more. Come on, I had big hope for him. I think he got a sack though, but it looks like it looks like he's Makari Page is took in his spot for the most part. But I mean, it it is what it is. But he got a sack, so you know that that's versatility. But we'll see. I try to watch those guys close to safeties because I used to play safety, so I try to watch them close and see who's messing up. But besides that, this was just a dominating win. Like, people wanted to say, oh, how good is Michigan? That's how good they are. They are, they are Michigan is, I will run it down your throat and test your manhood. And I'm not going to stop. That's, that's what Michigan is. If you can't stop the run, you ain't going to have a chance. Because Harbaugh is going to run that ball, and Blake Corum is legit. Donovan Edwards is legit in finding his way and showing why he was a highly touted recruit now. Healthy. So that's just there right there. Now, the one thing I'll say, and this is about the whole potential of the team, J.J. has to learn when to just throw that ball out of bounds. Because on that pick, all he had to do was throw it out of bounds. We probably still could have picked it up on four for two. You know what I'm saying? It was third and two. He threw that pass. The pick goes to pick six. Throw it out of bounds, bro. You don't have to force it because there was nowhere to put that ball. There was a defender there. And then the defender that you threw it into was in front of it, too. It's like, bro, what are you throwing at? So he's got to learn to do that. And also the one thing on JJ, he's got to learn. You're, you don't have to, if it's not there, just take off. You can't sit in the pocket and he's slowly getting out of this, but it's not a, it's, it's just something you can't keep doing. He's got to learn. You can't sit in the pocket for four or five seconds. I mean, it's 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 a beautiful thing that that you that you can actually do that. But the pass rush is coming. You sitting in the pocket for five seconds in the same spot. You can't do it. You got to make a decision: either throw that ball or or throw it away or run and get what you can. But you can't be sitting in the pocket for four and five seconds just stand, just standing there thinking the pass rush ain't coming. It's coming, bro. It's coming. So he's got to make the decision on what he's going to do. After about three seconds, make a decision. Because that's a, that's a lot of time. 
three, three and a half, you got to get out of there. Go on and pick up. It don't matter if a linebacker is there. Pick up them two yards or whatever and then get and get down. Simple as that. But that's just something he's got to learn because he he can't get too comfortable sitting in that pocket like that because that, that, that backside strip sack, it's going to come. It's just a matter of time. You keep doing that. So, but – this this was this was just a good this was a statement game. Michigan made a statement with this that y'all talking about last year, y'all best be worried about this year. The people well, Penn State is they beat Auburn. Yeah, okay. Auburn's not good. So people talking about this Penn State and where Michigan is. Michigan is right where we want to be and we got Kind of the same thing that we had last year for the most part on offense, at least, if not more. Defense, as you can see, we're deeper on the D-line. We don't have those superstars, but we have a bunch of dudes that are good. They're not, we ain't got two great players. We got a bunch of good players. So that's just the difference. Now, before I get off here, I would like to – I want to see us go throw some deep balls because you're gonna. it's going to come a time when we can't run it like we want to and we're going to have to keep those safeties and stuff out of the box. But we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if it's next week because Mel Tucker's their, – their weakness is their pass defense. So I wouldn't be surprised if we try to stretch it, open it up a little more with – Next week, but best believe if we can run it down your throat, we're gonna run it down your throat. That's just what Harbaugh is gonna do because that's Harbaugh. So that's all I got for this one, y'all. I wanted to touch about everything, but defense, it wasn't much to say about the defense because them boys was balling. Oh, uh, another thing on the defense, DJ Turner, make the pick, bro. Make the pick, and he's got to get better on that technique playing press. He gets he, he's fast, but he gets beat off the line because his technique isn't where it should be. So that's just that. Great win for Michigan. Uh, what was that? Moody got a few what three kicks. Good job. But just a complete win. Glad to see Blake Donovan, all the boys, the offensive line, just running it down their throat and not just getting five and ten, but it, it breaking it open, getting sixty, getting sixty-five, and getting these long runs. That's that's what makes teams want to quit. Is when you get the long runs. Because if you just dink, chinking it away, and then you get in the red zone, that's bend but don't break. That's what everybody wants to play. Yeah, they moved it, but we didn't break. Held them to three. So I'm glad to see those chunk plays. To nah, you bent, and then we broke you in two. Then broke you again. And broke you again. Break him one more time. So that's what that's what I want to see in because this is the first this is the first game where we've really just ran the ball like we want to. Cause this is what I expected to see in the beginning of the season. But if we here now, I ain't complaining. <laughs> After I said all that, I ain't complaining. <laughs> so, like, share, subscribe, and as always, go blue. Three, two, three. Oh!